Hey, it's Veronica from Gardenstead. Today I'm having friends over to have a snack sesh with things that I harvested from the Rise Garden. In part one, I shared planting the garden with my partner, Chris, and I've been maintaining the garden with him. But now I get to actually bring friends over, show them everything that we've been doing, and share the food that it's produced. I've harvested a bunch from this garden already, and I've put in sprouts in their place so that the garden can grow afresh. Today we harvested the Italian basil for the bruschetta, and it was so fragrant. The whole place is smelling like delicious herbs. We pulled off the leaves of the dwarf blue kale, washed them, oiled them, spiced them, and then baked them in created kale chips. I was showing Kim and Michelle around the garden as well. Kim found the Thai basil, and when she smelled it, it brought her right back home to cooking with her mom and her grandparents, and that was so cool. I love gardening, and I'm such a foodie, so what I really wanted to know is, is what I'm growing with the Rise Garden tasting different than what I can get in the grocery store? We did a blind taste test with two tomatoes, one from the grocery store, one from our garden. <laughs> I think this is the rice garden one. This one sucks. It was really clear when I just smelled the second tomato that it was fresh picked from the garden. It was so fragrant, and when I bit into it, it was super sweet. When I pressed it down, this one literally exploded. I set us up to eat beside the garden, and I didn't realize that I was sitting there around friends and the food that we had just harvested and made, but it was such a special experience. Food is what brings people together a lot of the times, and the feeling of sharing something you've grown is so special. Now that I've experienced all seasons of this garden, I can tell you whether I think it's worth it. Stay tuned for the next video.